Together, we are stronger. Together, we are better. Together, we will prevail. Faith leaders from all across the capital city are coming together for a unifying message, a message of hope, and to remind people about taking precautions against COVID-19. Welcome to the News at 10. We begin with these faith leaders who come from a very diverse background with Baptists, Methodists, Muslims, Jewish, Buddhists, Christians, and more. They decided to make a video to get out their message, and the message comes during Holy Week for practicing Christians when many people are prepared to go back to church this weekend to celebrate Easter. Our Joey Prechtel caught up with a couple of the faith leaders to find out why they're pushing this message. Joey. Well, Mark and Kim, more and more people are starting to let their guard down, starting to take fewer precautions against COVID-19 across the country. So these faith leaders, they wanted to come together and make this video in order to keep those precautions on the front of people's minds. And they also wanted to do it in order to pay respect to those that have lost their life from the disease. We are all connected. All are important. More than a dozen faith leaders are coming together virtually. We love the vulnerable the lonely, and those on the front lines of healing and supply chains. Several different religions working together to spread a message of unity and hope. All of us embrace this beautiful idea. The message was to remind folks to continue taking precautions against COVID-19, whether you worship in a synagogue. The Torah says, love your neighbor as yourself. So I wear a mask to protect you or worship in a historic Baptist church. As you've done it unto one of the least of my brethren, you've done it unto me. So I will social distance to keep you safe. We still think we're better together if uh, even in the efforts of pushing down the curve, right? Flattening the curve as we wear a mask, as we social distance, and as we do our best to take care of each other. For Dwayne Anders from Cathedral of the Rockies and Rishma Kamal from the Islamic Center of Boise, bridging the gap between religions was easy to do for this message. We come from different faith traditions, but what brings us together, it's all about being human. Both the Islamic Center and Cathedral continue to practice COVID-19 precautions. We are taking all those precautions, six feet, uh, social distancing, bringing your own prayers, rugs, putting on your mask, cleaning your hands. And the cathedral has been closed to in-person worship for the past year. We do drive up worship at the Amity campus on Sundays and we'll have an in-person on the lot worship on Sunday for Easter. As people plan on gathering this weekend, these faith leaders have a message for others with more relaxed protocols. The message that we are trying to say is value human life because what exists now is gone in a moment of time. Now, the only municipality here in the Treasure Valley that has some sort of mandate for masks and limiting gathering sizes is right here in Boise. However, the city's order on limiting the gathering sizes does not apply to churches or other religious institutions. So if you're curious about what your church is doing uh, up, up for the Easter service this upcoming Sunday, then it's best to actually reach out directly to them to find out what precautions they may be taking. Back to you. Joey, I absolutely love this. I love hearing from the diverse group of faith leaders Leaders, and they're so right. This isn't about us. It's about protecting yeah. your neighbor. It's not about your rights. It's about thy neighbor and protecting them and keeping them healthy through all of this. Joey, thank you for that.